Hi everyone! So today is going to be a quick video and it's basically going to help you with your AutoCAD drawings, um, especially if you use AutoCAD LT like me, because um, I don't really use AutoCAD with enough kind of detail that I need the full version, so I don't really ever use AutoCAD 3D and things like that. So AutoCAD LT is really what works well for me. But AutoCAD LT is missing a lot of the quick tools or the express tools that can really make some parts of the using the software easy. And one of those is adding break lines. And break lines are just those little squiggly lines at the end of a wall or other element within the drawing that just shows that it's being cut off. And in L AutoCAD LT, they don't have a tool for that but you can make one yourself that you can use over and over again as a block really simply. So to do this, all you need to do is first draw any break line that you might want to use. So I'm just gonna draw one that's say, say 500, and I have my polar tracking on, so I'm gonna draw a little bit of an angle here. And let's just go straight down. And something like that. There we go. So we have just a starting point of a break line. But first things first, in order to make this something that we can use over and over again, I wanna create a block. So B, enter and I'm going to call it break line and I'm going to choose just one of those points to be my um, base point then OK and so now I have this break line now this is great but as we know sometimes you need things to be a little bit longer or it needs to have some adjustability so this is when it's going to be helpful to create this break line block as a dynamic block so if I do B E enter OK. And what I'm going to do is create different parameters. So I'm going to take create two linear parameters, one from this side to stretch this line out and one on this side to stretch this line out. So if I go to linear and I'm going to do something like that. And let's do another one. Something like that. And now we're going to add in a stretch action. So if I click and then click, I'm going to choose this end. And we're basically just going to select all that and then select this line. Enter. And we're going to do the opposite on this side. So select this parameter. I'm going to choose this end of the line. And we're going to choose this kind of stretch frame. We're going to stretch this line and enter. And so now if I close the block editor and save those changes, I have a beautiful break line that I can move around, stretch the extents of, and really just kind of play with it however I want. Um, one other thing you can do if I do B E enter. Okay is I'm going to add in a rotation parameter. So rotation, I'm going to rotate it here and let's just let's just rotate it kind of around this part and just do a 90 degree angle. Perf. So here we are, a new rotation. I'm going to add this action and this time I want to select everything because I want to make sure it all stretches as well, even if it is rotating. So enter and close the block editor, save the changes. And now I have this gorgeous break line that I can use over and over and over again without having to, to need the special express tool and I can then use it over and over to make my drawings really consistently. So that's how to make a dynamic block break line for you to use in your drawings when you don't necessarily have access to the express tools. Hope that helps. If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching.